Hey guys, imagine that there are a bunch of nodes with integer values. We connect two nodes if and only if the values have some factor in common, or in other words, the GCD of the two values is not one. In this graph we have created, can we find the shortest distance between some two given numbers? For some details about the question, the number of nodes, n, can be at most 3 times 10 to the power of 5 and the value of each node is a positive integer between 1 and 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, as you may have noticed, there is a, say, trivial O n squared log n solution, which would be to consider every pair of nodes and calculate their GCD, and if it is not 1, we connect those two nodes. However, since n can be at most 3 times 10 to the power 5, this will result in the code being too slow to pass in the 2 seconds given to us. But we will first use this algorithm to notice some things about the graph we create. After we create this graph, we notice that if we consider a random prime number, say 5, we realize that if a set of nodes is all divisible by some prime number, then they are all completely connected. With this information, we can consider another brute force approach. Loop over all the prime numbers below 3 times 10 to the power 5 and check which nodes are divisible by it and connect them all. This is better in some cases, but it has a large issue. For example, if all the nodes are divisible by a prime, say 2, then we create a complete graph of n nodes, which will be O n squared to construct the edges. What if there was a way to connect all of the nodes that are divisible by the same prime number without needing to connect every single one of them to each other? Well, there is. Imagine creating a special node called a prime node. There will be one for every prime number below 3 times 10 to the power 5. Now, we can take the set of all the nodes that are divisible by a prime and connect it to its respective prime node. This way, we only have to add a few number of edges. Realize now that we create a bipartite graph, and if we were able to get from node i to node j before, we can travel from node i to some prime node that both nodes have in common, and then back to node j. So if we were able to travel from node i to node j before, then we are still able to do this in our new graph. This means that after a simple breadth first search or BFS, from the initial node that we are given, we can travel back and forth between our nodes and the prime nodes to get back to our destination. And we can output the distance we have traveled divided by two, as to get from one node to the other in the original graph. In this new graph, we need to go from the one node to a prime node to another node, which means it will take two distance for every one distance in the original graph. So we have to divide by two. And now we are done. I hope you enjoyed the solution and stay tuned for more interesting and cool videos. Thank you.